What is a positron? Antimatter form of electron with same mass but positive charge. Emitted in decay of radioactive nucleus or as result of collision of high energy gamma ray with the nucleus. What is the luminous power? I response to power of light electromagnetic waves. What is refraction? Refraction is the bending of light as it goes from one medium to another. The most common use of refraction is in lenses. Eyeglass lenses refract light so that the wearer's eyes can focus the light properly. A magnifying glass is used to see enlarged images. Lenses in cameras produce an image on the film or CCD sensor. Refraction also occurs when sunlight strikes Earth's atmosphere and when it goes through water. What is the difference between loudness and sound intensity? Sound intensity is a physical property that depends on energy. Loudness describes how a listener responds to sounds and is subjective. The ear doesn't respond equally to all frequencies, even between 20 Hz and 20 kHz. So, a sound with an intensity of 60 dB will sound louder at some frequencies than others. The ear is most sensitive to frequencies between 1 kHz and 3 kHz and its sensitivity is much less for both low, 20 to 100 Hz, and high, 10 to 20 kHz. As people age their ears respond less to all frequencies, but especially frequencies above 5 kHz. Loudness also depends on the type of tone, whether a very pure tone, a more complex tone, or noise. Loudness doubles for each 10 dB increase in sound intensity. It is measured in zones. Normal talking, which is between 40 and 60 dB has a loudness of 1 to 4 zones. Hearing damage from sustained sound, 90 dB, is 32 zones. What is the sound barrier? The sound barrier is the speed that an object must travel to exceed the speed of sound. The speed of sound is often used as a reference with which to measure the velocity of an aircraft. The speed of sound 331 meters per second at 0 degrees Celsius is Mach 1. Twice the speed of sound is Mach 2, three times the speed of sound is Mach 3, and so on. How does gravity act on us? Is it a contact force?
Newton recognized that the gravitational force of Earth acts not only on objects close to Earth. Like the famous apple, but also on objects as far away as the moon. But, how exactly does a celestial object such as the sun reach? Out the approximately 93 million miles and hold Earth in its orbit. An early idea was that it was an action at a distance force, for example. That the sun attracted all objects, like Earth, without anything between the two. In the middle of the 19th century, physicist Michael Faraday 1791-1867, proposed that one magnet creates a field of force around it, and another magnet interacts with the field at its location. Based on the field idea, Earth then creates a gravitational field. The apple and the moon have a force exerted on them, not directly by Earth, but by the gravitational field that exists at the location of the apple and the moon. What is instantaneous speed and how is it measured? If you reduce the time interval between measurements of position, both the distance moved and the time required are reduced. If the speed is constant, then the ratio of the two does not change. Instantaneous speed is defined as the limit of distance divided by time interval when the time interval is reduced to zero. In practice you can't reach the limit. But it is possible to measure positions every thousandths of a second. There are indirect methods of measuring instantaneous speed. For example, police use the Doppler shift, that will be discussed later in this book. That is, the change in frequency that occurs when the radio or light wave is reflected from a moving object. What is the Bohr model? A nuclear model but with electrons moving in only certain allowed orbits at discrete radii and with specific energies. When in these orbits their radii and energies are constant. The atoms do not emit or absorb radiation. Electrons gain or lose energy when they jump from one alloyed orbit to another. Then they emit or absorb light with a frequency given by HF equals E2. E1 where E2 and E1 are the energies of the electrons in the allowed orbits. How does a camera lens create an image on the sensor? The diagram below shows what would happen if there were three pinholes. Each creating an inverted reproduction of the object, see page 211. Now. If a converging lens is placed just behind the pinholes it will bend the rays going through it. If the focal length of the lens and the distance between the lens and screen are chosen correctly. Then the three reproductions from the pinholes will all be at the same location. Light rays from the top of the object will converge on the appropriate point on the image. 
Note that the image is inverted and the same size as the reproductions. What is thermodynamics? Thermodynamics is the field of physics that studies changes in thermal energy and the relationship between energy, heat, and work. The field of thermodynamics was developed when people sought to increase the efficiency of early steam engines. There are four laws of thermodynamics, which for reasons of history are numbered 0 through 3 rather than 1 through 4. What is a photon? Packet of light energy light quantum by Einstein in 1905. Given name. Photon in 1926. Has no mass or charge, but carries angular momentum. Always moves at the speed of light. Are holiday lights in series or parallel circuits? M. Many years ago holiday lights used large bulbs designed to work on 120 volts. Those strings were wired in parallel. Today holiday lights are wired in series so that the tiny bulbs have only low voltages across them. If a lamp burns out because the filament fails, there will be no current through the string. But there will be 120 volts across the failed bulb. The bulb has a wire touching the two thick wires that deliver current to the filament. The wire is covered with a thin insulating film. How does light become polarized? Light can be polarized in two ways. If a shiny surface such as water or an automobile window reflects light, it can be partially polarized. Or, you can use a polarizing filter that passes only. The light that has the electric field in one orientation. A Polaroid filter has long, thin molecules, all oriented in the same direction, embedded in plastic. The molecules absorb light that has an electric field parallel to the long dimension of the molecules. Therefore the light passing through the Polaroid has an electric field perpendicular to the long dimension of the molecules. Why are we static when sitting in a chair? As long as you are sitting in a chair and not moving, relative to Earth, you are static. That means that the chair is supporting you with an upward force that is equal to your weight. You would remain static until some external force was exerted on you to start you in motion. What did Newton add to the knowledge of sound media?
although he mainly concentrated on classical mechanics and the principles of geometric optics. Isaac Newton, 1642-1727, did make several important discoveries in the field of sound. His major contribution was his work on sound wave propagation. He showed that the velocity of sound through any medium depended upon the characteristics of that particular medium. Specifically, Newton demonstrated that the elasticity and the density of the medium determined how fast a sound wave would travel. Because Newton worked before the field of thermal physics was developed, his theory has errors, but they are not significant to the calculation of sound speed. What is plasma? State of matter consisting of electrically charged particles. What is luminous intensity? I response to intensity of light electromagnetic waves. Why was Einstein more than just a world-renowned physicist? Einstein supported unpopular causes. The year he moved from Switzerland to Germany. He joined a group of people opposing Germany's entry into World Was I. He joined both socialist and pacifist causes. He opposed the Nazis, and when Adolf Hitler, 1889-1945, came to power, Einstein moved to the United States. He took a position at the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey. Some years later he became a citizen of the United States. After being urged by other physicists, Einstein signed a letter to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, 1882-1945, pointing out the danger posed by Germany's work on uranium that could lead to a dangerous new kind of bomb. The letter helped to launch the Manhattan Project that lead to the development of the atomic bomb. Although Einstein did not actually work on the bomb, after the defeat of Germany, and knowing the death and destruction that dropping the bomb would cause, he sent another letter to the president urging him not to use the bomb. The letter was never forwarded to President Harry Truman, 1884-1972. After the war Einstein spent time lobbying for atomic disarmament. At one point he was even asked to head the new Jewish state of Israel. What is a watt, W? Unit of power. One watt is one joule, J, per second, S. What are alpha particles? He 
helium atoms with two electrons removed emitted with high energy by some radioactive nuclei. What is a thermograph? Picture that shows the temperature of every location in the picture. Thermometer device to measure temperature. What is an electromagnetic spectrum? The wide range of electromagnetic, M, waves from low to high frequency. What distinguishes objects that sink from those that float? An object will sink if the downward forces on it are larger than the upward forces. There are two downward forces. The force of the liquid above the object and its weight, the force of gravity. The upward force is the force of the liquid below it. Let's think of a cubic object of height h and area of the top and bottom a. Its volume, V, is then given by V equals HA. Density is the mass divided by the volume, or P equals M slash V. Let's start by considering the difference in water pressure between the bottom and top of this cube. Pressure is force divided by area, so, using L bottom equals top plus water GH. We can write bottom slash a equals phi top slash a plus water gh so f bottom equals phi top plus water carat ha. Now we recall that ha is the volume of the cube and water he is therefore the mass of the water. Water, whose place is taken by the cube of matter. The net downward force on the object in the water is then the force. On the top plus the object's weight less the force on the bottom. That means Fnet equals Fi top plus Mobjek, bottom from the results of the paragraph above. Fnet equals Mobjek, Mwaterg. Therefore, if the object's mass is larger than the mass of the water whose place it takes, it sinks. If the mass is smaller, then it will rise. Weight is the mass times the gravitational field strength, g, so the net force is fnet equals wobject, weighter. The water whose place the object takes is normally referred to as the water displaced by the object. What makes up dark matter? Many candidates have been proposed, but there is no agreement at this point. Neutrinos with mass could make up a small portion, as could brown dwarf stars that have failed to ignite. More likely candidates are the supersymmetric particles described above. Much discussion recently has focused on WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles. If they exist they would be passing through Earth, and so several experiments are underway to detect them. Early results from one experiment claim to have detected two particles. Other experiments look for indirect evidence from gamma rays or antimatter. 
one result claimed to have found an excess of positrons, but not antiprotons. The composition of dark matter is one of the most active areas of investigation in astrophysics. What are other contact forces? You might think of rubber bands on slingshots, roads on the wheels of your car, or ropes pulling carts. Water and air can also exert a force. Think of a stick moving down a stream. Or what you feel when you stick your hand out the window of a fast moving car. What is a very large array, VLA? Group of 27 radio telescopes spaced as much as 13 miles apart from each other in Socorro, New Mexico. Why does a prism separate light into a spectrum of colors? If all wavelengths of light were refracted by the same amount when entering and leaving a prism then there would be no separation of colors. The refractive index of all materials depends on the wavelength of light. In diamond the refractive index for blue is 1.594, for red 1.571. In flint glass the index varies from 1.528 to 1.514. In crown glass the variation is from 1.528 to 1.514. While in water it is only 1.340 to 1.331. In all cases the refractive index of blue is larger than that of red. So the blue light is refracted through a larger angle than the red. The large difference in diamonds accounts for their flash. How can you get circular motion? If an object moves in a circle, either a planet, a satellite, or even a ball on a string twirled around, then there is no change in speed as it moves around the circle. So there can be no force in direction of motion. There must be a force, because the direction of the ball is changing, so its velocity is changing. The force must be perpendicular to the motion. Try to make a ball move in a circle. This works best with a ball the size of a soccer ball or basketball on a smooth, wood or tile, floor. Start the ball moving, then kick it gently in the direction perpendicular to its motion. Try another kick or two. Note that its direction changes. In the direction of the kick the momentary force you placed on the ball. If you could exert a constant force that is always perpendicular to the motion the ball would move in a circle. Note that the direction of the force is always toward the center of the circle. Such a force is called centripetal, or center-seeking. The force required to keep an object moving in a circle depends on three quantities. The mass of the object, 
the speed of the object, and radius of the circle. The force must be larger for larger mass, greater speed, and smaller radius of the circle. What is atomic and molecular physics? Study of single atoms and molecules that are made up of these atoms. What is an emission line spectrum? Light of a few, distinct wavelengths produced by a hot, low-density gas. How did the study of beta decay result in the discovery of a new particle? In beta decay a nucleus emits an electron. The electron isn't in the nucleus originally, but results from the change of a neutron into a proton. Studies of the energy of the emitted electron showed that, instead of having a single energy like an alpha has, the energies of the electrons were spread from near zero to a maximum energy. Early investigators recognized that this suggested that energy was not conserved in beta decay. Austrian physicist Wolfgang Pauli, 1900-1958 Proposed in 1930 that a second particle was emitted along with the electron. This particle had to be neutral and zero, or extremely small mass and he named it the neutrino, or little neutral one. The neutrino wasn't detected experimentally until 1956. We now know that. The neutrino emitted in beta decay is actually an antineutrino. The question of its mass will be discussed in the chapter on unanswered questions. When a nucleus undergoes beta decay the number of protons increases by 1 as the number of neutrons decrease by 1. So, for example, carbon-14, 6 protons and 8 neutrons, becomes nitrogen-14, 7 protons and 7 neutrons. With the emission of the beta, electron, and an antineutrino. How are neutrinos detected? Neutrinos hardly interact at all with matter. Some 100 trillion pass through your body every second. Yet the chance that one interacts in your body over your lifetime is only 1 in 4. For this reason neutrino detectors must be huge and can expect to detect only an extremely small fraction of the neutrinos striking them. Most detectors are large cavities filled with extremely pure water or mineral oil. Neutrino interactions result in flashes of light that are seen by sensitive phototubes. The detectors have identified neutrinos from the sun, from cosmic rays, a supernova, and from reactors and particle detectors. Some experiments have used beams of neutrinos that are aimed 
through Earth by a reactor or accelerator at a distant detector. What is a stimulated emission? Atom in excited state struck by photon with correct energy is stimulated. To emit another photon with same energy and drop to lower energy level. What do pounds per square inch, psi, measure? Measure of pressure in English system. What determines the amount of reflection or absorption? A good absorber of sound matches the impedance of sound waves between air and the new medium. While a poor absorber has a very different impedance and reflects the sound back into the environment. Typical absorbers have an open structure with holes of various sizes into which the sound waves can penetrate and transfer their energy to thermal energy of the material. What causes the tides? The moon's gravitational field exerts a force on the water. Because the field and force depend on distance. The force on the water closest to the moon is strongest. The force on earth is weaker and the force on the water on the far side of Earth is smallest. So the water nearest the moon is pulled toward it, and Earth is pulled toward the moon more strongly than the water farthest from the moon. For that reason there is a tidal bulge in the water near the moon, and another on the far side. The bulges, which are the high tides are not directly under the moon because Earth's rotation drags the water along with it. Because the day is shorter than the lunar month. The high tides actually come about two hours before the moon is overhead. Tides also vary greatly with location. The largest tidal variations occur in the Bay of Fundy between the Canadian provinces of Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. Where the largest recorded range was 17 meters, or almost 56 feet. There have been many proposals to put a dam across the bay and use the tides to generate electricity. But environmental concerns have blocked construction in that bay. The sun also affects the tides, but much less than the moon. When the sun, earth, and the moon are aligned, which happens at both full and new moons, the tides are especially high. What is the origin of Earth's magnetic field? The source of Earth's magnetic field is its core, made of iron, so hot that it is molten. It rotates at a slightly different rate than does Earth. And this difference creates what is called a dynamo effect, generating a magnetic field. 
Details of how the dynamo effect works are still a matter that is under investigation. What is a barometer? Device to measure gas pressure. How did gears play a role in an ancient astronomical computer? In the 1st century B. CE a Roman merchant ship carrying Greek treasures to Rome sank. In 1900 CE a storm. Caused a party of Greek sponge divers to seek shelter on the island of Antikythera. After the storm passed the divers, seeking sponges, found the wreck of the Roman ship. Over the next nine months they recovered much of the treasure. Including a badly corroded block the size of a telephone book. A few months later it fell apart showing remains of bronze gears. Plates covered with scales, and inscriptions in Greek. The German scientist Albert Rem, 1871-1949 Understood in 1905 that the device was an astronomical calculator. In 1959 the American historian of science Derek de Sala Price, 1922-1983, wrote a Scientific American article describing some of the details of the device and the calculations it could do. By 1974 he had described 27 gears, including the number of teeth on most. By analyzing the Teeth he discovered that the ratio could describe lunar cycles known by the ancient Babylonians. The Antikythera device can predict solar and lunar eclipses. The dates of future Olympic Games, and can show the complicated motion of the moon. The precision with which the gears were made was greater than any made in the world for the next thousand years. What do Celsius temperatures feel like? If you live in the United States you learn what various temperatures feel like. You recognize that 86 degrees Fahrenheit is typical of a hot summer day and that minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit is a very cold winter day. What is an atomic number? Number of protons in the nucleus and thus the nuclear charge. What is steel? An alloy of iron and a small amount of carbon. Other metals may be added. What role does reverberation time play in acoustics? Reverberation time plays a major role in the quality of sound heard in a concert hall.
Acoustical engineers carefully design concert halls to achieve a typical reverberation time between 1 and 2 seconds. Rooms designed for speech should have reverberation times less than 1 second. Movie theaters a little over 1 second, and rooms designed for organ music have as much as 2 seconds. If the reverberation time for middle and high notes is too short, the sound will diminish almost instantaneously and the room will sound dry. A full bass tone requires a longer reverberation time for low notes. If the reverberation time is too long, however, as it is in many gymnasiums, the echoing effects will interfere with the new sounds, making music sound mushy and words of a speaker difficult to understand. Sound absorbing foam panels with bumpy surfaces are commonly used in recording studios to reduce echo. What is a gluon? Eight different massless particles that carry the color force that holds quarks together. How can you convert latitude and longitude to a distance measurement? A precise conversion is difficult because Earth is not a perfect sphere. Latitude is easier to convert. The circumference of Earth taken over the poles is 24,859.82 miles. Which is equivalent to 360 degrees of latitude. Therefore 1 degree is equal to 69 miles. So, the north-south distance between two cities 5 degrees of latitude apart would be 345 miles. Longitude is more complicated. At the equator 360 degrees is Earth's circumference, 24. 901.55 miles. But at the poles it is zero. So the conversion of longitude to distances depends on the latitude. If you use trigonometry to find the distance, you will find that the circumference at a latitude of 0 degrees is the circumference at the equator times the cosine of the angle 0. So, at the latitude 40 degrees, the circumference is 19,076 miles, and one degree of longitude is 53 miles. This result is only approximate because Earth is not a perfect sphere. For more accurate conversions consult a website such as http colon slash slash www.nhc.noaa.gov slash gc hyphen How does a synthesizer imitate any musical instrument? A synthesizer is an electronic device that generates, alters, and combines a variety of waveforms to produce complex sounds. Often a piano-type keyboard allows the musician to select the notes to be constructed. Synthesizers may use electronic circuits to create the tones or use software that controls a circuit that converts a digital number to a voltage. Some synthesizers use a computer rather than a keyboard to select the notes. 
the computer can then control electronic circuits through the MIDI interface. The most common method of creating the synthesized sounds is to use a frequency. Modulated synthesis that creates higher harmonics that match those of the musical instrument being imitated. Or create an entirely new musical sound. Instruments also have characteristic attacks, sustained times, and decays. Attack describes how fast the amplitude rises from zero to its full value. Sustain times describe how long the tone amplitude remains the same. And decay describes how the amplitude decreases at the end of the played note. Synthesizers can create hundreds of different sounds, typically called voices. Are machines with mechanical advantage equal to one useful? They are because they change the direction the force is exerted. Which often makes it easier for the person to exert that force. What is a node? Locations in a standing wave where there is no amplitude caused by destructive interference. What are other examples of the conservation of momentum? If there is only one object in the system, then with no external forces Newton's second law says that its velocity will not change. Conservation of momentum also says that its momentum won't change. If the momentum was zero, it will remain zero. If you shoot a rifle or shotgun you are often told to hold the gun tightly against your shoulder. What's the physics explanation for this admonition? When the gun is fired the bullet's momentum changes. Its new momentum is in the forward direction. So, AC according to the law of conservation of momentum the gun must gain momentum. In the opposite direction, it will recoil. If the gun isn't held tightly to your shoulder its mass is relatively small, and so its recoil velocity will be large. When it hits your shoulder it could cause injury. If, on the other hand, the rifle is tight against your shoulder, then the mass is the mass of the rifle and your body. The recoil velocity will be much smaller. Momentum backward. With no external forces on the rocket gas system. The rocket's momentum must increase in the forward direction. It will speed up. When the rocket is on the launch pad there is an external force on it, the force of gravity. Who discovered superconductivity? The creation of materials without resistance was thought to be impossible. But a Dutch physicist by the name of Heike Kammerling Onus, 1853-1926, proved it was possible in 1911. 
Onus lowered the temperature of different metals, including mercury, close to absolute zero. He then measured the electrical resistance of the materials at such low temperatures and found that mercury at only 4.2 Kelvin, minus 277.2 degrees Celsius, had zero resistance to electrical current. What are difference tones? Difference tones are frequencies that are produced as a result of two different frequencies mixing with each other. This mixing can only occur if a device is nonlinear. That is, if the output is not a multiple of the input, you can create difference tones with two toy slide whistles. Place both in your mouth and blow hard. Adjust their length so that the two tones are the same pitch. Then adjust one. As you move its pitch away from the other you will hear a low-pitched sound whose pitch increases as the two whistles pitches get further apart. For example, if the high frequency sound was 812 Hz, while the lower frequency was 756 Hz. The difference tone from the interfering sound waves would be 144 Hz. The nonlinear device in this case is your ear. What are the secondary colors? When any two of the three primary colors are mixed, secondary colors are formed. They are called secondary because they are byproducts of the primary red, green, and blue colors. Red light mixed with green creates yellow light. Red and blue produces magenta. Finally, cyan is formed when blue light and green light are added together. How did chemistry contribute to the acceptance of atoms? Robert Boyle, 1627-1691, an Irishman who wrote The Septical Chemist in 1661, is often considered the father of chemistry. He held that matter was made of atoms or groups of atoms that were constantly moving. He urged chemists to accept only those results that could be demonstrated by experiment. The great French chemist Antoine Laurent de Lavoisier, 1743-1794, demanded that measurements be made with precision and that scientific terms be clearly defined and carefully used. With the discovery that air contained oxygen, which is necessary to support animal life. He clearly demonstrated that air was not an element, but a mixture of oxygen and nitrogen. By showing that hydrogen, discovered by Henry Cavendish, 1731-1810, when mixed with oxygen formed water. Lavoisier showed that water also was not an element, but a compound of two elements. Lavoisier's care with weighing both the reactants and products of reactions allowed him to make one of the earliest statements that mass is conserved, that is, neither created nor destroyed in chemical reactions. 
Lavoisier's wife was a brilliant woman who assisted her husband in many ways. Including translating letters from foreign scientists. He was executed during the French Revolution for being a tax collector. In supporting the guilty verdict, the judge said the Republic needs neither chemists nor scientists. Lavoisier met with Joseph Priestley, 1733 to 1804, shortly after Priestley discovered oxygen in 1774. Lavoisier did extensive work on oxygen and gave it its present name. Priestley invented carbonated water and experimented with ammonia and laughing gas, nitrous oxide. But when he opposed much of the work of chemists of his generation he was pushed to the sidelines. After writing theological books that opposed traditional Christianity in England he was forced to flee to America in 1794. John Dalton, 1766-1844, was an English chemist who because he was a Quaker, could not obtain a position in a state-run university. For a number of years he taught at a college in Manchester for dissenters from the Church of England. His strengths were his rich imagination and clear mental pictures. But especially his astonishing physical intuition. His first interest was meteorology. He wondered how Earth's atmosphere, consisting of gases of very different densities, could have the same composition at different altitudes. His meteorological studies led him to the conclusion that atoms were physical. Entities and their relative weight and number were crucial in chemical combinations. Dalton's atomic theory of chemistry was published in a new system of chemical philosophy in 1808 and 1810. Briefly, it has five parts. Elements are made of tiny particles called atoms that cannot be divided into smaller particles. Nor can they be created or destroyed or changed into another kind of atom. All atoms of an element are identical. So there are as many kinds of atoms as there are elements. The atoms of an element are different from those of any other element in that they have different weights. Atoms of one element can combine with atoms of another element to form a chemical compound today called a molecule. A compound always has the same relative numbers and kinds of atoms. In a chemical reaction atoms are rearranged among the compounds, they are neither lost nor gained. The first and last parts give an atomic basis for Lavoisier's conservation of mass that he had confirmed in many careful experiments. Two of Dalton's specifications are now known to be false. Atoms can be changed from one kind to another by the process of radioactive decay. Not all atoms of an element have the same weight. Both of these results will be discussed in the chapter at the heart of the atom. What happened at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, on December 17, 1903? It was on this date that Brothers Orville, 1871-1948, and Wilbur, 
1867-1912. Wright warmed up the engines on their Wright 1903 flyer and took off into the blustery winter air. On its first flight, Orville flew the flyer for a total of 12 seconds and traveled a distance of 37 meters, 120 feet. Later that cold winter day, Wilbur flew for nearly a minute and traveled 260 meters, 852 feet. The Wright 1903 flyer, which weighed only 600 pounds and had a wingspan of 12 meters, 40 feet, made only four runs that day. Who is Roy G? B.I.V. The colors of the visible light spectrum, in order from long wavelength to short, can be remembered using the fictitious name Roy G. B.I.V., which is an acronym for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Each individual color has a particular wavelength. And as the wavelength changes, the color changes to the next color on the spectrum. When combined with the appropriate intensities these colors form white light. How is radioactive decay used to determine dates? Radioactive carbon-14, 14C, has a half-life of 5,730 years. It is produced in the atmosphere when cosmic ray neutrons strike nitrogen atoms. The 14C then reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and dissolves into the oceans. Plants take up the atmospheric CO2 in respiration and animals ingest it. Therefore all living things exchange both 12 CO2 and radioactive 14 CO2 throughout their lives. When they die the exchange stops and the fraction of 14 C to 12 C in their bodies is fixed. As time goes on the amount of 14 C decreases. Objects up to 50,000 years old can be dated by radioactive carbon as long as correction figures. Agreed to by international agencies, are applied. Willard F. Libby, 1908-1980, an American chemist. Won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1960 for his development of carbon-14 dating in 1949. There are several. Other dating techniques that use the half-lives of radioactive isotopes in rocks including uranium-slash-thorium and rubidium-slash-strontium ratios that extend dating techniques to hundreds of millions of years. Radioactive uranium-235 decays into lead, Pb-207, very gradually. The half-life is 704 million years. How is the human voice similar to a wind instrument? The vibrating source of the human voice are the vocal cords in the throat. Their vibration, at a relatively low frequency of 125 Hz, creates oscillations in the air that fills the throat and mouth. 
by varying the size and shape of your mouth and position of the tongue you can change the frequency of the sound as well as the relative amplitude of the harmonics. Try it yourself. Sing a constant pitch. While you vocalize the vowel sounds dash A, E, I, O, and U. Note how you change the shape of your mouth and position of the tongue when you go from one vowel sound to another. Frequency. The second harmonic is twice its frequency, etc. Many instruments, especially bells, oscillate in modes that are not whole number multiples of the fundamental frequency. These higher modes are called overtones. Overtones include harmonics, but harmonics do not include overtones. Another confusing point is that the first overtone is not the fundamental. The second harmonic is the first overtone. What is Kepler's first law? Planetary orbit is an ellipse with the Sun at one focus. Who defined or developed the meter? In 1798, French scientists determined that the meter would be measured as 1 slash 10 comma 000. 000 th the distance from the North Pole to the equator. After calculating this distance, scientists made a platinum iridium bar with two marks precisely one meter apart. This standard was used until 1960. Today the meter is defined using the second and the speed of light. One meter is the distance light travels in 1 slash 248 seconds. What is a critical angle? Angle at which refracted light angle is 90 degrees. What is a magnetic declination? Angular difference between north as shown by a compass and the Direction to the geographic North Pole, Earth's axis of rotation. What concerns did pilots and engineers have about breaking the sound barrier? To reach the sound barrier in an airplane was a major goal for many in the aeronautical field. A goal that carried some uncertainties. Pilots and engineers alike wondered and feared what would happen to a plane's maneuverability when it broke through the shockwave as well as what would happen to the plane itself, structurally. Near the end of the Second World War there were fighter planes that were very strong and had powerful engines and experienced pilots. A number of pilots died when their planes broke apart in mid-air, often when in dives. There were two problems with these aircraft, first. 
the wings were not swept back, and second, they were driven by propellers. As the shock wave forms near Mach 1, it bends backward from the nose of the plane. Like a bow wave on a boat. If the shock wave encounters the wings, that is. The wing extends through the shock front, there are tremendous forces on the wings. In a supersonic plane the wing is always designed to be fully behind the shock front. Because the shock front can tear the wing off the plane. The propeller causes a pulsation in the pressure on the wing, every time one of the blades goes by. It produces a region of slightly higher pressure behind it, followed by a region of low pressure. All of these things came together and helped cause mid-air structural failures of the World War II fighter planes. What is the difference between laminar and turbulent flow? The film of fluid that touches the container does not move because of friction with the container's surface. But the fluid in the middle of the stream does. In laminar flow the transition from not moving to moving at full speed is continuous. Each thin film of water moves slightly faster than the one closer to the surface. In turbulent flow this transition from not moving to full speed motion occurs suddenly. And the water moves in tiny circles in this region. Laminar flow has more friction than turbulent. A baseball, for example, has more drag in the laminar flow region. What type of wave is a water wave? Ocean or water waves look like transverse waves. Yet are actually a combination of both transverse and longitudinal waves. The water molecules in a water wave vibrate up and down in tiny circular paths. The circular path of the water wave creates an undulating appearance in the wave. What are the advantages of the Hubble Space Telescope? The Hubble doesn't have a mirror as large as the new Earth-based telescopes. But being in space it is not limited by the distortions caused by variations in the refractive index of air above the telescope. In addition, a space telescope can detect the infrared and ultraviolet rays blocked by Earth's atmosphere. Other space-based telescopes are designed to detect X-rays and gamma rays from extremely energetic stars and galaxies. Who is considered one of the most influential scientists of all time? Many scientists and historians consider Isaac Newton. 1643 to 1727, one of the most influential people of all time. It was Newton who discovered the laws of motion and universal gravitation. Made huge breakthroughs in light and optics, built the first reflecting telescope, and developed calculus. 
his discoveries published in Philosophic Naturalis Principia Mathematica or the Principia, and in optics are unparalleled and form the basis for mechanics and optics. Both these books were written in Latin and published only when friends demanded that he publish. Many years after Newton had completed his work, What is the difference between transparent and translucent? Transparent media such as air, water, glass, and clear plastic allow light to pass through the material. Rays of light are either not bent or closely spaced rays are bent together. Translucent materials, on the other hand, allow light to pass through. But bend closely spaced rays into different directions. For example, frosted glass and thin paper are translucent because they let light through. But are not transparent because you cannot see clearly through them. What is a superconductor? Superconductors allow electrical current to travel without resistance. And therefore no voltage drop across them or energy loss within them. Superconductors must be cooled below their critical temperatures to have no electrical resistance. Some elements, compounds, and alloys that are superconductors are lead and niobium nitride. And a niobium titanium alloy. All these require liquid helium to cool them to their critical temperatures. In the 1980s some ceramics were found to have much higher transition. Temperatures that could be reached using much cheaper liquid nitrogen. The first found was yttrium barium copper oxide. As of 2008 a family of materials including iron. Such as lanthanum oxygen fluorine iron arsenide, was developed. Shear force Force exerted that parallel to a plane. What happens to a series circuit if more bulbs are added? If more light bulbs or other resistors are placed in a series circuit, there is more resistance in the circuit. And so the current, and the brightness of the lamps would be reduced. What units are used to describe speed? In the English units used in the United States. Speeds are usually given in feet per second or miles per hour. In the metric system meters per second or kilometers per hour are more common. Here are some typical speeds in the four systems of measurement. What limits have been established to reduce exposure to noise pollution?
the World Health Organization has recommended that noise during sleep be limited to a level of 35 decibels. And governments are beginning to place restrictions on noise levels in both residential and business environments. In the Netherlands, for example, regulations specify that new homes may not be built. In areas of high noise levels those that exceed average noise levels of 50 decibels. In the United States, employers must provide hearing protection for those who endure noise levels of 90 decibels for more than 8 hours a day. What are common methods of heating a home? Homes using forced air heat have a furnace that heats the air in it and a fan that blows the hot air into heating ducts that allow the hot air into the rooms. It rises and forces the colder air out of the room through return ducts, the entrance to which are usually near the floor. Hot water heat has pipes carrying hot water that have fins on them. The fins promote convection of air past the hot water pipe. This warmed air then circulates through the room. Electrical baseboard heat works in the same way. Electric resistance wiring in the floor or ceiling can warm the air in contact with these surfaces. Again creating convection currents. Convection is the movement of thermal energy through a fluid, such as liquid or gas. What is a Newton, N? Unit of measure of force. In the English system, force is measured in pounds, LBS. How was electricity used as a form of entertainment? In the mid-1700s demonstrations of electrostatics were extremely popular. Especially in Parisian salons, where wealthy men and women gathered to discuss events of the day. Benjamin Franklin, 1706-1790, was a popular guest. In Stephen Gray's most famous demonstration. Called the Flying Boy Experiment. A boy was suspended horizontally using two silk threads hung from hooks placed on the ceiling. When a charged tube was held near his foot, pieces of metal foil were attracted to his face and to his outstretched hands. Louis Guillaume L. E. Monnier discharged a Leyden jar through. A chain of 140 courtiers in the presence of the King of France. Jean Antoine Nollet, 1700-1770, attempted to measure the speed of electricity by having a line of monks 1 km, 3,280 feet, long hold hands. The monks at the ends of the line touched a machine that produced charge. They all jumped simultaneously when they felt the painful shock. So he concluded that electricity moved instantaneously. What is the origin of gamma rays?
gamma rays, high energy photons, or short wavelength electromagnetic waves are emitted from the nucleus along with an alpha or beta decay. When an alpha or beta decay produces a daughter nucleus that nucleus is often in an excited state. One or more gammas are emitted as the nucleus settles down to its lowest energy, or ground state. Gammas are like high energy X-rays, but are emitted from the nucleus, not the electrons, of an atom. What is electrostatics? Study of the causes of the attractive and repulsive forces, called static electricity. That result when objects made of two different materials are rubbed together. What is the conservation of momentum? The momentum of the system is constant when external forces are zero. What is a magnetic field? Just as the gravitational field is the region around a massive object that causes the attractive force on another object with mass. A magnetic field is the region around a magnet that causes forces on magnetic materials or other magnets. What is Coulomb's law? Coulomb's law describes the strength of the electrical force between two charged objects. The formula is F equals K, chi Q2 slash R2. Where K is a constant equal to 9.0 x 109 nm2 slash C2, Newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. The charges Q1 and Q2, measured in Coulombs represent the charges on the objects that cause the force F, measured in newtons. Finally, R is the distance between the centers of the two charged objects. A negative force is an attractive force, while a positive force is repulsive. 